tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. In the last video, I showed you how to create a simple product inside of WooCommerce and WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a variable product. And that's the next level up in terms of product creation inside of WordPress and WooCommerce. And this is a great feature and it allows you to really get creative with your donation type products. So if you're a nonprofit uh, starting off with e-commerce and you want to add a donation product that's more than just one price or you setting the price like we did in a basic product, we can offer them multiple prices or multiple price points to make their donation. And we do that through the variable product. We're going to do a very quick recap of simple products. So we're in the WooCommerce products area and we're going to add a product. And in this case, we're actually creating a product as a donation. So we're going to call this donation. We don't need any text here in the middle, but we will select this as virtual and downloadable. And this does two things for us. I'm sorry, uh, we'll leave downloadable unchecked. We're not actually having files there, but we will click off on virtual and what that does is it allows us to get rid of any shipping information because this is not a physical product that we're shipping. So what we'll do is we will just click here. Now, if you remember, if we enter a regular price, say $25, let's just select the donation category and let's just add a featured image real quick. Let's just add this image here. We'll set that and we will publish this. And then once that's published, we'll view the product on the front end of the site. And we'll look at that here. We have something called donation, $25. There are no choices there. The only thing that we could do is add that to the cart at the $25 level. And that doesn't really give your customer a lot of choices. Uh, a few things. Number one, it limits them to $25. This may be good. It may be bad. Uh, if people don't want to donate $25 and they want to give more, that's a problem uh, because they won't be able to, or they'd have to add 10 of these to their cart and that kind of gets annoying. Uh, or if they don't have $25 and maybe they only want to donate five, they're not able to do that here and you might lose out on that donation. So leaving a donation product as a simple product leaves a little bit to be desired. So we're going to fix this with a variable product and we're going to offer multiple donation levels. So here we're going to type something like This is a variable donation product with multiple levels and that will show up in the description. And then the short description shows up above. So we'll type something in, please choose a donation level. And then instead of single product here, we're going to go down here and we're going to select variable product. And you'll notice what that does is it gets rid of the general information in the pricing tab. And then you'll notice a few things down here. We have the ability to do attributes and variations. Now variations rely on attributes. So we're going to start first with attributes and we're going to over here on the right side, we're going to click add and this is going to give us the ability to add an attribute or attribute depending on how you pronounce it. And we're going to put a name here and we're going to call this donation levels. You can call it whatever you want, but you'll see where this shows up. And then we're going to enter some different attributes you'll see separated by the pipe symbol and that's uh, above on most keyboards it's above the return or enter key and you get to it by hitting shift and then that button above the return or enter key it's a straight up and down line it's called the pipe key so we're going to enter some levels here so we might call this a uh, five dollar level maybe a ten dollar level then a twenty five dollar level and then a $50 level, and then a $100 level. Let's make sure we get the symbol in there. Now we want these to be visible on the product page and we want them to be used for variation. So we're gonna click on both of those and then we're gonna save the attributes. And then once the attributes are saved, we're gonna come down here to variations. And then you'll see down here, it's giving us, it's asking us what do we want the default to be? And we're gonna leave that blank and it's gonna show us all these different options. But we're not actually gonna do anything with those yet. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click link all variations. And what that's gonna do is link up a choice for all of the attributes we just created. And you'll see if I click on these headers, I can close all of them. But what it did was it automatically created all of the options that we made. 
5, 10, 25, 50, and $100 options. So we can click on each one of these, and for the $100 option, we'll want to make this price $100. We'll also want to make this virtual. Now you'll notice here that this attribute or this variation looks almost exactly like a general product or a simple product. We're given the ability to add a regular price, a sales price, where we have the ability to set stock quantity or to allow or disallow back orders and to set the stock. And then we could even make it downloadable. So what we'll do here is for all these options, obviously we'll enable the option and that will make it visible on the product page. And we will make it virtual because again, these are not physical products that we're shipping. And that what you'll notice is that gets rid of the shipping information and the other dimensions. So we click on virtual, it gets rid of that information. Over here, you have the ability to add another image and I'll show you where this shows up later. But for now, let's just click in there and we'll add these different images for each variation. Now, for example, if you were creating a product where, uh, say, you were creating different colors, like a red t-shirt, you would make this maybe a red swatch. A different variation were blue, you'd make it a blue swatch, and that helps identify what exactly they're buying when it's in the cart. So we will minimize this one. We will maximize the $50. We will set the variation regular price to 50, and we will check off virtual, and we'll just choose another image there. We'll minimize that, we'll do 25, set that to $25, check virtual, and we will select yet another image there. And we'll do the $10 and set that to 10, make it virtual, and we'll select the $10 image. And then finally, we will select the $5 image, mark that as five, mark that as virtual, and we will select the last one. Now, we have all of those variations in, and we will update this product. We'll visit the front page again. You'll remember here it was just set to $25. It was a simple product. We're going to refresh that. Now when you're doing a variable product, what it does is it shows you the range of prices. We have prices between $5 and $100. And it's asking us, choose a donation level. And you'll see here donation levels. And we can click on this drop down and it'll show us these different options. And when we select one, it will show us the price. And you'll notice here below, there's no option to add to cart and move forward. That's because we haven't chosen anything yet. So if we choose 25, it shows us the picture for 25. It shows us the value. And we have the ability to add that to cart. So that's what different variations do. And as we change variations, it'll show us the image for that variation. Of course, you can clear the selection and go back to the beginning as well. So this is a way to offer multiple variations to your customers uh, as a way of doing different donation levels. Sometimes, rather than just showing price, we can come down here in terms of these variations, the attributes, and we could change this. So we could say the friend level is $5, the donor level is $10, the contributor level is $25, the benefactor... And then maybe the major donor is 100. Of course, we'll want to save those attributes. And then under variation, what happens is since we've changed the attribute levels, we need to rehook them up here. So we would label that friend, we'll label the next one donor, contributor, benefactor, and major. Then we would update the page, and on the front end, we can refresh that. And instead of just having dollar amounts, we could have names next to our dollar amounts. But I do recommend leaving dollar amounts in the selection attribute itself, because that will allow people to see exactly what they're donating before the dollar amount is shown. Otherwise, it might be confusing to leave a dollar amount off. So this is a great way to add an introductory level of different donations to your website through e-commerce. In the next video, we're going to show you how to add something that would be another choice, which will allow customers actually to enter their own price. And we'll do that next.